all about how to get those videos off your Rexing dash cam onto your phone on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker, filmed before a live and furry studio audience. That is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Yep, we're talking Rexing today, baby. Okay, this video is going to be all about, because I've, I've talked about the Rexing dash cams over and over and over. The reason I like them is they last. They have that super capacitor in them that doesn't heat, overheat, and burn up the circuit board. I've liked the Garmin dash cams. They just don't last is their problem because they use a lithium ion battery and it, it overheats and they, they burn up. I've tried like four or five different ones. I mean, I've spent so much money on Garmin dash cams. I paid, uh, I think at the time it was $129 for uh, the first one I got, which is now, which was originally called the uh, Rexing V1 uh, Generation 3. It's now called the V1 Basic for $49 off Amazon. And I upgraded about a year, year and a half ago to the V1 4K. So you get the 4K resolution, better re resolution. It does not have the time-lapse feature, which I like in the other one, but it's only 99 bucks off Amazon right now. And they last, that's the main thing. They're up there in the sun all the time, and I still use both of them to this day. I had to replace the SD card and the uh, basic uh, because it stopped after three years of continuous use. Apparently SD cards don't last forever, but they're cheap. 16 bucks on Amazon for 128 gigabyte, that's about all you need. They will take up to a 256, which will give you a two or three days worth of videos if you need to worry about that. But I like them both, so this video is all about how you get your videos from the dash cam to your phone and there's two ways to do it uh, I have now started using this dongle right here it's got the fire uh, well not the fire what do they call the lightning plug on this end so I can plug it right into my phone now my iPhone 7 plus which is what I currently use and then you can slide your uh, S micro SD card in right there and then you plug it into your phone and you can transfer the files in a matter of minutes even you know 9 10 11 12 videos in just a matter of a couple minutes so let's walk you through all that okay once you've taken the SD card and you've plugged it into your little dongle thing so you can put it into your phone directly into your phone then you just go to the files folder uh, on your phone it should be somewhere on your desktop that's where I found it uh, and then it pops up is like you know extra drive iDrive or whatever I've got a little thing here I'll show you exactly what it looks like and then that's how you start to access it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look for under the files, see that volume one? You're gonna find this folder called card V. Click on that, you'll find movie. Click on that one. Then you'll see all the files that you have not saved. You scroll way down to the bottom, you'll find this file, RO. Open that, that's your saved files. Hit the three dots uh, up in the right corner. That'll allow you to select them. You select them, and then you get to the next screen where you can say save nine videos, and that'll automatically save it to your photos right there. Okay, and if you're gonna go the route of doing it like I just showed you by transferring it right off the SD card, after I put the SD card back in, I stop the recording, which you can do with that button right there, and then uh, I go ahead and erase the memory so that uh, anytime I then go to that one folder I showed you, it's only going to be the newer stuff I've saved. And you do that by hitting the button on the side right here twice to get to the menu. Alright? To Well, the, the menu we need to be on. Then you hit the bu down button here and you look for Format. You hit the OK and it says All data will be deleted. I hit OK again says please wait okay then it's done and you just hit that button again on the back or on the side get back to the main screen and then I hit the record button again and then you know it's recording because the little dot up in the upper left flashes off and on so now it's just going to start recording in general everything and if I save anything when I hit that OK button right here then you see in the top window there's the little key which tells you that video is saved. Of course, the other way to do it is to uh, transfer your videos over the Wi-Fi. It's slower. That's why I got this dongle. But it does work. It just, you have to be a little patient. 
and now I'll walk you through all that. Now to transfer them over Wi-Fi, uh, Rexing makes an app, but I'm sorry, Rexing, I love your cameras, but your app sucks. I have never been able to get it to work to download the videos from the Rexing dash cams. There is a, another app called Timacam, T-I-M-A-C-A-M, that you need to use. Go to your app store. Uh, I'm, I'm all doing this on an iPhone, all right, so this may not apply to Android. Go to the app store. Download the Timacam app. It's free, and uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, instructions in Chinese, so don't even try to read those. This is where I'm going to walk you through it. But you download that app. Here's what it looks like. Okay, then you open that up, and now we'll walk you through that process. Okay, so if you want to do it over Wi-Fi, first again, you need to stop the recording. Uh, then you can just hold down the OK button, and then hold it down while you see that little camera is. And then it says Wi-Fi not connected. It gives you the name it's going to have, which is that uh, B50 thing, and gives you the password. So now you go to your phone, go to settings, open Wi-Fi, look for that B50 or whatever it is on your camera, hit, uh, click on that, it'll put in the password, and then you're going to be able to connect. So when you open Timacam, here's your screen, you want to hit connect DVR, and then hit connect device right there, and this is the screen you see. You need to stop record again, right there, and then go to DVR album. All right, that's gonna show you your main album. Click on event right there. That's gonna show you your recorded videos. You can hit select and select the video. It'll start downloading, it'll show you the progress. And then you wanna click on it when it's done. And then you can choose up in the right hand corner again, the save to phone album. It'll save to phone album and it'll give you this message. Then you're all good. Both methods work. You get your videos off the dash cam onto your phone where you can save them. You can put them onto a computer. If you put them just to the SD card, you have options. All right, so I know there's no good tutorial on the Rexine website. And as I've said before, the Rexine app blows. I've never gotten it to work. But I've used that Timacam, T-I-M-A-C-A-M, for years now to get my videos off. And now that I use the dongle, it's just so much faster. So when I get parked, I can start transferring them, take Rusty out when I come back in, they're transferred. So that is the way I recommend. This was 11 bucks off Amazon, okay? So that's the way I highly recommend getting your videos off of your Rexing dash cam. Because I know there's really not a lot of information out there, and certainly not from Rexing. As much as I like their dash cams, their information for transferring your videos is not the best. So I hope that helps out as far as that goes. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. I hope that helped you guys who have the Rexine dash cams. And like I say, I know Rexine's uh, website is not helpful at all. Rexine's uh, app is sucks. I've never been able to get it to work. So here, that's a way, two ways for you to get your videos off of your Rexine dash cams and onto your phone. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. Please like and comment. Get to your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Uh, don't forget about Clutch Trucker on Instagram, Clutch Trucker on Twitter. Uh, ring the bell for notifications so you know when the new videos come out. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. You're a little late. I just woke up this morning and, and I realized I'm marrying the wedding singer. I just, I just couldn't do that. Again, information I could have used yesterday! He's poised, he's watching. Oh, there it goes. You got it? Oh, yeah. He's all over that thing, baby. Because he's a bag and strip dog. He's a bag and strip dog. Sometimes it eats too fast. It starts to cough. He's a bag and strip dog. All right, you almost done with that first piece? Oh, yeah. Here's another one for you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you for not chomping my hands off while you're trying to eat that. Alright, think you got it.